It was this a is hard pass, Cal. Oh, yeah. This is hard pass. That's I'm going to give it up. All right, so your boy Lil Wayne been yes, out there on the run lately. Uh, yes, sir. Man's in him. He told uh, Birdman that he not doing the uh, cash money reunion. Mm. No, Hot Boys. It was Hot, Hot Boys reunion. Hot Boys Hot reunion. Hot Boys. Yeah, uh, he said you're not doing it because Turk wasn't there. Mm, I, I respect it. You respect it? I respect it. Uh, who I do you think? Uh, how many uh, people was in the Hot Boys? Four. You had the, yeah. It four. was BG, Turk. Wayne, and Juvenile. Who but was the, but they ran with the big time. Was that with Birdman? Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah. Manny Fresh. Yeah. So, and, and as far as the Hot Boys go, from uh, best to worst, who you got? Man, and not worst. Just saying, like how you rank them. Wayne first. What? Mm-hmm. So you you want me to do the best of my favorites? Because that, that's a Let, whole different list. Let's do the best. The best. Uh, the actual Hot Boys. Mm-hmm. Juvenile was one. Mm. Then. Wayne, then BG, then Turk. Okay. The okay. actual hot boys. Yeah. So now tell me your favorites because now I'm curious. All right. My favorites now is Wayne, BG, uh, Juvenile, and Turk kind of tied. I kind of like, I like Juvenile music more, but I like Turk as a person more. But, uh, and, and the only reason I said Juvenile was the best in the hot boys because Wayne ain't really been doing his thing until after them boys left. Yeah, he was yeah, holding yeah. his own, but, yeah, you know, yeah, he yeah. wasn't Wayne. Yeah. But, yeah. Until after, yeah. All right. So. He was the favorite, though. But go ahead. Bye, Wayne was the favorite? By most people, yeah. Yeah. I, w- I would say that. Too. Shout out to Wayne. Shout out to Juvenile. Shout out to Turk. Shout out to BG. I would say uh, Juvenile came up with the best songs, though. Back then, in obviously. the Hot Boys, yeah, yeah definitely, yeah. definitely, that's a fact. All right, so shout out to them boys, man. All right, let's get to it. So now, yes, up. He was on stage at a concert, mm-hmm. and the motto was playing, and Drake verse was going, mm-hmm. and then he started saying some stuff. <laughs> what was he let's saying? get to it. I think this is Talk His World or however you say his name, whatever. On Chicks Channel, Drake to sing not like us. You hear him? It's low, but yeah, <laughs> he could have done that with any song. I so, heard it. I was thinking, just get into it. Do you think he trying to uh, do any kind of correlation to the beat to "They Not Like Us"? And he realized that in the moment that this beat remind me a little bit of "They Not Like Us." I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. If I'm going to be honest. Yeah. Can I be honest? Oh, wait. Uh, this is a, a, a detail that I don't know if you know yet. Go ahead. But he also had an OVO chain on, and he mm-hmm. held it up in the air when oh, he was saying, shoot. they're not like us. Shout out to Wayne. Go ahead. But um, I seen this on Facebook yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. What I drew from it mm-hmm. was, and for those that don't know, Wayne is my favorite rapper of all time. I think he is the, the greatest rapper of all time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, whenever he was saying that, I was thinking the media are going to try to blow it up and make, you know, him and Kendrick start beefing. I, I, but, <laughs> but that, that, that's but, what I was going to go ahead. Yeah. But I, I do think that Wayne remakes a lot of songs. I think that he remixed that song, whether it drops or it don't drop. I think yeah. Wayne, uh, did remix it and if if that's the same Wayne that I know well know of mm-hmm. he would give Drake and Kendrick a shout out in his verse ah, on that okay, song okay. that's okay. what I got from it but yeah him wearing the chain was just letting the crowd know he's still rock why are you looking at me like no, that no, I was just <laughs> I'm just trying to but yeah I think <laughs> him wearing the chain and doing that was to let the crowd know that he's still rocking with with uh with Drake because yeah. it is some speculations but it, but he but he do like Kendrick though, I ain't gonna say he like Kendrick. I don't think he got a problem with Kendrick. They did a song together. Does that matter? Either? No. Oh, okay. Well, the the, the they the, the media gonna try to twist and turn it. Mm-hmm. That's a fact. And then it's gonna come down to me asking you. Oh shoot! <laughs> Do God, you think no. that this Wayne can hang with that Kendrick that's here now? I think that this Wayne we have today. I think him and Kendrick can go bar for bar. I think Wayne in his prime, it's a landslide. Wayne killing him. I think that uh, if Kendrick wanted, chat. <laughs> I think that if Kendrick wanted to 
this a beef with Wayne now is the perfect time because he's not in love with music how he True. used to be. It's I not can his agree life with you how it used to be. Yeah. So that's just just like if Jason Tatum played Michael Jordan now. Like, yeah, you probably going to win. So you can say you beat Michael Jordan, but you ain't beat Michael Jordan. <laughs> you, you ain't beat was, the Michael yeah, Jordan. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I, now I think uh, I would still give it to Wayne. You get what I'm saying? Because mm. um, I do do think Wayne got enough raps and enough songs to pull some stuff and make something. Yeah. But, uh, but, yeah, so right now I would say they would go ball for ball. It would be a good one. But Wayne in his prime, he killing Kendrick. It ain't even close. It ain't even close, Trail. It ain't even close. I'm talking 10 to 8. Every time. Well, go ahead, though. Why are you looking at me like that? You got something to say? I think Kendrick will say, cut those business. You got sh- twisted. What is it? The dreads? <laughs> hey, you stupid. <laughs> nah, what but uh, I, I, I was thinking about that, though. Like, what if Kendrick takes the bait and then this is Wayne and then now we got the situation but I, I don't I, I think Wayne is at a point where he probably won't even diss back yeah a lot of people um diss Wayne and Wayne now, now never responded to 99% of them but is that because he's not good at that god no I think it is and I was thinking about this I think it's like when somebody had diss somebody yeah, whenever Kendrick had first dissed Drake, I mm. told you if I was Drake, I wouldn't even respond because I feel like Drake is looking down at Kendrick. Kendrick is looking up. Yeah. So if Drake wins, it's I like, man, that, that's yeah. Drake. Yeah. But if Drake loses, it's like, man, Kendrick just beat Drake. Yeah. So I think it would be something like that. It's like if Wayne, if Kendrick takes shots at Wayne, if we not being biased, can we not be biased? Mm. I think if nobody being biased, right, I think that everybody would say that Kendrick would be dissing up. Can we say that? At this point, it's back to what we said with Jason Tatum and uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Jordan isn't really considered in the game no more. So now it's just about the legacy of saying I played him, not about the legacy of saying uh, I beat Jordan at his best. I feel you. And that. that's what that would be because this wouldn't be Wayne at his best. This would be that's just to fact. say I, I played one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel what you're saying. But. Let, 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 let's say Kendrick at his peak, Wayne at his peak. Will Kendrick be dissing up? Can we agree on that? Well, obviously, because Wayne at his peak was the best in so, the world. So yeah. with that being said, if Kendrick were to diss Wayne, if I'm Wayne, I'm not responding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I but was agreeing with that. I don't me, think he would, and let, I don't think he should. Let me say this, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like Kendrick should stay where he at, mm-hmm. dissing Drake. Uh, Drake and J. Cole. Because niggas like Jay-Z, Eminem, Wayne, that's a whole different ball game. Yeah. It's like Kendrick is great, Mm -hmm. but he is not Wayne, Kendrick, or Jay-Z yet. It's like he's great to what he is. It's like Ant-Man. Ant-Man, Jason Tatum, John Morant, them boys great. Mm -hmm. But you ain't Mike. You ain't LeBron. You ain't Kobe. You ain't Magic. Get what I'm saying? So it's like just stay in your lane. Yeah, yeah. Stay over there with your class. That's a fact. But yeah, he don't want no smoke with, with freaking Wayne, dog. <laughs> he don't want no smoke. With so Wayne, now that man. we here, right? Yeah. Do you think that Kendrick is going to drop an album? I'm ninety nine percent sure. Is what July? Yeah. By September, he's dropping. Because every time the the reason that I asked that though is, that do that. you think that he's going to include the songs on the album? I think he might put them on, if they're not on the album, they might be on the deluxe version. But I do think they're gonna be on there. All of them. If you pay attention to it, Kendrick come around dissing when he about to drop an album. <laughs> so, I but he think don't. He, about he to don't. Drop. Uh, like a lot of the song, like when he drops singles for his albums, they usually don't be on the album. But mm-hmm. I think that there's a possibility. He said, how many, uh, whatever do I have in stock? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. He might have a whole album dissing Drake. Dang. And if he, if he has that, that could be the theme of of his album. And he put all of those songs on there. And now those songs might make even more sense in the album. If he does that, Drake career done. God, dog. (laughs) He done. Yeah. I, I, I. I know he the biggest artist in the world. Yeah. He beat Michael or whatever like that. If Kendrick do that, Drake done, bro. He cooked. So question, what if Kendrick do that? Because there's been rumors. 
Yeah. Your boy Drizzy is in the studio. Yeah, yeah. And that that's what I was wondering about. Like, I think Kendrick might be waiting. And there's been a lot of things that you could say is baiting Drake to diss him again. Mm -hmm. But maybe he's waiting for Drake to do something else. And then he dropped the whole album. And then just like that, you got... Let, let, let's just say it's uh, 14 songs on there and everyone dissing Drake. And now you hear, uh, like, let's say he opened up the album with Meet the Grams. And then from then on, it just go, uh, it's another song, another song. Then 616, mm -hmm. then another song, another song. They Not Like Us, then another song, another song. Euphoria. Like, let, let, let's let say, like, and there's a storyline, not just a, um, yeah, yeah. not just I'm dissing you throughout the whole album. It's a storyline. Because that's how Kendrick like to do his albums. Yeah, yeah, that's a fact. That would be phenomenal. That's a fact. So, what what if, mm -hmm. and I'm look, looking at it from both sides. Yeah. yeah. What if Kendrick is, does that and Drake do the same thing? Mm. Even more of a what if. Yeah. What if. They do that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Drake this Kendrick, Kendrick dropped the album. And then, let's say two weeks later, Drake dropped the album. And then they do a Kendrick versus Drake tour. God, dog. <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Nigga, trail. Trail. If them niggas do a Kendrick versus Drake tour, yeah, I bet every amount of money I'm going to make this year it's going to be sold out in a week. No, uh, 100%. If it, they can do 50 cities. If they do any city nearby, I'm going to look at what the tickets say. <laughs> That's it. Because <laughs> if I can afford it, I might go. It'll would, be worth it. Would you pay that $1,000 to meet both of them? No. No. God, no. I'm not doing that. No. Shout out to Chris Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, man, I, I do think um, if Kendrick do that, though, and I, I don't put it past him, mm -hmm. I don't think Drake would, but I do think Kendrick would do something like that. Yeah, yeah, I could see that. But I, I don't think so, though. I think if he drop an album, it's just going to be an album. I feel you on that. But I would love that if something crazy like that happened, bro. That would change the the whole landscape of the the big three and everything like that. Yeah, Cole, I, I just go ahead. I know, right? Sean, <laughs> never mind. Never mind. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, 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 I still don't feel like, 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 like it's uh, over with, though. No, no, it's not. It's I don't not. feel like it's over with. I, I do feel like that Drake, day by day, is going backwards, though. Uh, yeah, I agree. I gave Drake until Friday, and I'm going to officially say Drake lost, but I, I can't stand on that, though, because it's too close. It's hard, yeah. I was listening to every record today. Yeah, yep. I listen to and, it all the time. Yeah, and, and it's kind of, after I listened to it today, because I did say it, 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 it's a tie. Mm -hmm. After I listened to it today, I want to give the slight edge to, to Drake, to be honest. Oh, for real? Yeah, now I do. But yeah. that might change tomorrow. Yeah. But, yeah. So, yeah. yeah, yeah. I could see it changing day by day. I, yeah. was telling, uh, I, was, I was telling Kyle that. I was like, bro, I know Kendrick out strategy them. Yeah, he, he does have he did. the... the but Drake dropped some good songs, bro. If you listen to, because you always were saying push-ups, push-ups, push-ups. Mm -hmm. I listened to it and I ran it back. And yeah. that's the most slept-on song in this whole thing. Thank you. You was right. Thank you. You, you was right. <laughs> that's the most slept-on yeah. song in yeah. this whole thing. Yeah. I um, It's a on Spotify. I don't know if you got Spotify now. I think you use Apple Music, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got Spotify, and I would type in the search bar, Drake versus Kendrick, and it's a, a, a playlist of all of the songs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and a lot of times I just listen to it, but I ain't going to lie. I skip over certain songs. Like, I know you had like Meet the Grounds, but I skip over it. Yeah, I, I think Meet the... I didn't say I had like Meet the Grounds. That's the most, most disrespectful yeah, one. Yeah. Yeah. And I... I do agree. And guess what I ran across? I ran across this thing on YouTube that said, meet the grams, but it's even scarier. Mm -hmm. And it, I'm, I, can I? You. <laughs> it's on you, Hey, dog. drop down in the chat. Hey, let us know what y'all think. Uh, I think uh, th that they trying to hype up the beef for Lil Wayne to diss Kendrick, but I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, I don't think it's going to happen. Yeah. Either. Let us know if y'all think it's going to happen. And what do y'all think is going to happen as far as like Kendrick and Drake go? Is there anything more to it or is it over? Yeah, I think it's more to it. All right. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to Jacob. Bye.